on this episode of China Uncensored. It's getting hot in here, so put on that radiation suit. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Bad news, folks. Nuclear war with China is imminent. The good news is that we all know what to do. Yep. And cover. This is the Dongfeng 31. It's equipped with a nuclear warhead and can fly almost 5,000 miles, far enough to hit the continental U.S. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to tell you China just sent several of these to Heilongjiang province, which is along the border with Russia and the closest point in China to the United States. Because allegedly, China just sent several Dongfeng 41s to Heilongjiang province along the border with Russia and the closest point in China to the United States. There have been reports for years that China was testing these missiles, but we haven't seen them until now. Maybe. According to always accurate state-run media, the Global Times, the Dongfeng 41 can carry not one, but 10 to 12 nuclear warheads and can fly over 85,000 miles to hit anywhere in the world. Yes, even in your backyard, little Jimmy. So you know what to do, right? Duck and cover. That potato salad will never be the same. Anyway, what was the Kremlin's response to China putting nukes on their border? They don't care. Apparently, images have been surfacing on Chinese social media of the Dongfeng 41 in Heilongjiang province. Remember, we haven't seen confirmed images before. And media have been eating it up like a barbecue on the 4th of July. Some media are reporting it's a response to President Trump's provocative remarks on China. At least, Global Times said that some media are saying that. Hey, it makes sense, right? Therefore, it must be true. Just listen to what Trump's press secretary, Sean Spicer, said about the South China Sea. I think the U.S. is going to make sure that we protect our interests there. So, and yeah, we're going to make sure that we defend um, international territories from being taken over by one country. And Trump's Secretary of State is even talking about blockading China's access to artificial islands they built in disputed territorial waters. We are going to have to send China a clear signal that, that first, the island building stops, and second, your access to those islands is also not going to be allowed. Well, China's having none of it. China's position on the South China Sea issue is clear and consistent. China's resolve to protect its sovereignty and maritime rights in the South China Sea will not change. And now, Global Times is saying China's nuclear capability should be so strong that no country would dare launch a military showdown with China under any circumstance, and such that China can strike back against those militarily provoking it. So if you're freaking out, good. Continue to watch China Uncensored. Only China Uncensored can protect you. So are you ready to see this footage that has everyone up in arms? Yes, seven seconds of something under a black tarp. That is the only evidence that China has put an experimental nuclear missile on the border of Russia. When asked about the reports, China's foreign ministry called them speculation circulated on the internet. Hey, just because something's on the internet doesn't mean it's not true. Or that it's true, either. Even Global Times says there has been no authoritative information on whether China has a Dongfeng-41 strategic missile brigade, how many such brigades it has, and where they are deployed. So really, this is probably all smoke and mirrors. So what's actually going on? Well, this all falls almost immediately on the heels of Chinese leader Xi Jinping calling for a world without nuclear weapons in a speech in front of the United Nations. So is she a hypocrite? Well, maybe. But going before the UN and saying nuclear weapons should be completely prohibited, then immediately putting nuclear weapons on the border of Russia in striking distance of the U.S.? That's just stupid. And you don't get to make it to the top of the Communist Party by being stupid. Psychopathic toad, yes. Actually stupid, no. Xi Jinping is, as you know if you've been watching, 
locked in a life or death struggle with a political faction within the Communist Party tied to former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin. And there's been so many instances like this where she says one thing, then the party seems to do immediately the exact opposite, which makes she look stupid and bad. So when the Global Times, the hawkish publication with ties to the Jiang faction, runs a story based off one really shaky video, is the message really to tell Trump to back off the South China Sea? Or is it a message to the world that, hey, this Xi Jinping guy is lying and probably plotting something evil behind his stoic facade, unlike his predecessors in office who were all goodness and light. But just in case, you know what to do. Duck and cover. And try not to get run over by your tractor. So what do you think? I'll be delving more into the power struggle inside China on an upcoming episode, so stay tuned. And don't forget to support China Uncensored on Patreon. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time.